Righto. Um, so I actually, this would be the second time that I've actually just recorded this little clip here. Um, partially because I um, raised my voice in the last video. Um, I'm clearly suffering from that um, issue that lots of YouTube uh, YouTubers suffer from, which is clowns in the comment section. So um, I just want to put a couple of things to bed. Um, our solution is an AC and DC coupled solution. This is the DC coupling. That is the AC coupling. That produces an AC signal, um, not an AC signal, an AC output, and this one produces a DC output. DC is absolutely the best way to direct charge a battery, right? No mistake. Um, AC, in my opinion, is the best for direct use, and there's two reasons for that, right? Well, there's a couple of differences I should talk about first. The input voltage of, our, of a Fronius uh, Primo inverter is a thousand volts, right? Or 800 usable volts. The input voltage here is 150 or 250, right? So maximum this can hold is 150 volts. The maximum this can hold is 250 volts. Now these are, these are excellent, but they're also significantly more expensive than these. Both of them have an output of one uh, 5.7 kilowatts or 5.8 kilowatts. Um, but obviously, the amperage required on the input on this one to get 5.7 is significantly higher than the amperage on this one. Which means that this one's cable size has to be bigger than this one's cable size to achieve the same result. So total cost of ownership for this one when you install it is lower. The same is true of those. So the best thing about those, even though you would effectively be doing a DC to AC conversion, is that their voltage is effective um, from only 10% of their maximum. So at 80 volts, they fire up. For these, they have to be five volts above the battery, right? And then they'll fire up. That's when they start charging. Now, once they come down from five volts above the battery, it doesn't matter. They could be like 0.5 of a volt above the battery and they'll keep on charging. The main benefit of those is if you're off grid and you have one of these, it has a charger built into it you can utilize the charger. We, we buy these ones secondhand out of Gumtree, which is a, uh, I suppose it's like Craigslist or trading post in, a, in Australia. Um, and I don't pay more than $250 for those. I pay $1,500 for these. This one was $1,700 and this one was $1,500, right? This one was cheap. That's 5.7 kilowatts, 250 bucks, three kilowatts each, right? They are very, very cheap. And I can put second-hand panels on them. It doesn't really matter. I just keep ramping the voltage up until, until they charge for us. So, you know, people argue this is the best way to charge. I agree. That is definitely the best way to charge. But if you've got a direct use system and you want to charge, you should totally do a combination, right? This is awesome, right? This inverter doesn't have to work hard during the day. You can hear its fan going. Its fan's going because it's charging off those. But also all of our direct use during the day comes from those. So, you know, it's, it's sort of each to their own. I, I just feel that the criticism of the AC coupled solutions is probably a little bit unfounded. And I think it just comes from people who don't actually have their own AC coupled solutions. For me, this is awesome. I'm getting power from two different types of uh, solutions. It's very diverse. I can, I can lose three kilowatts somewhere, but I still have more inverters. I can lose a DC solution and I still have another one or even a backup there. So, you know, I don't think the, uh, the criticisms of the AC coupled solution are, are valid. And I think there's just keyboard warriors like, you know, putting their opinion out there to the world. But in any event, this is our solution and we're happy with it. Um, so long as I can pick up these things cheap, as soon as I add another one of these inverters, I'm gonna go and buy more of those because they're cheap, $250 a piece. I'm happy that this can restart the system, um, content that if there is no AC signal, they won't start up, fair enough. These two are enough to get the system going again. Um, and given that this has a 140 amp inverter uh, charger in it, um, why not?